Good morning. I'm Miss Pam, and I'd like to just welcome you to Kids Church. Last week, we talked about how God created us with physical, emotional, and especially spiritual needs. Then he gave us the Sabbath so that we could nurture that spiritual need every single week. So then this week, we had to take serious actions because of the virus. And I wanted to make sure that you have a way each and every week to hear the gospel of Jesus every single week in a kid-friendly way at home. So let's dive in. This week, our gospel is titled, Jesus Heals a Man Born Blind. Now, if you're at home and you'd like to read this with me as we read the gospel, go to the book of John, chapter 9, and we're going to read verses 1 through 7. Here we go. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, It was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said these things, he spit on the ground and made mud with the saliva. Then he put the mud on the man's eyes and he said to him, go wash in the pool of Siloam. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Can you just imagine in a very short period of time, Jesus healed this man so that he could see. Think about it. If you were born blind, there would be so many things that you could not do. You might bump into walls. You might trip really easily. Can you imagine how hard it would be just to get dressed in the morning? Reading would take a long, long time, and school would be so difficult. Playing sports? would probably be even dangerous. And whenever you're in a place that you're unfamiliar, if you were blind, you would probably be pretty scared. I bet the man in our gospel today probably felt scared too. He never knew what it was like to see a sunset, to see the spring flowers. He probably didn't even know what his parents looked like, or at least not that he could see them. And then when Jesus' disciples asked him whose sin was responsible for this, Jesus said, no, 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 it's not about sin, it's about the glory of God. And Jesus healed the man quickly. Jesus showed his glory through that very miraculous healing. And I would just want to remind you that he's still healing us today. During this time when so many schools, businesses, even our church have had to pause our familiar activities. We still have a God who can heal us, comfort us, and fill us with his peace that passes all understanding. You know, this is also a time when we can bring glory to God through our actions. If one of our friends is hurting, we can offer to pray with them. If our parents need help because they're working at home and trying to make dinner, we can offer to assist them. If a neighbor needs something, maybe we have something to share. You probably know lots of ways that you can be a blessing to someone else, and I can't wait to get back together for you to share those with us. Before I close in prayer, I just want you to, re to remind you to check your parents' email, and you'll find a crossword puzzle, and you'll find a word search, and a coloring page on that email. And it all goes together with today's gospel. Now let's pray together. Dear Lord, the changes we've seen this week are scary. Help us not to grumble and complain, but to find new ways to love our neighbors and bring glory and honor to your precious name. Fill us with your peace, with pa which passes all understanding. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs> 